What's going on guys and welcome back to another market update. Now what we were looking at is we were looking here at GBP, JPY. Now if you guys have remembered, we were looking sort of at this beautiful channel down here. Let's pop it over. I want to show you guys quickly on the daily time frame what we were looking at, alright? So we had this nice sort of uh, support slash resistance zone coming up. We were looking at potential buys uh, to the upside from here so now popping back down to the four hourly time frame we remember that big rejection we had that three wick structure over here if we zoom in a little bit uh show you guys down here we can see beautiful three wick structure one two and three market started to move to the upside now we did take the trade beforehand as well we took one down here stop loss over there and the market did unfortunately come back down stop us out but did luckily like i said gave us another re-entry so what we're looking at we saw that sort of rejection beautiful started moving to the upside then on the hourly time frame we had this nice little channel starting to form. So we're looking for the moves inside of this channel. And I don't know if you guys remember, we were looking at the trade. We were talking about sort of this rejection. We had a three-week structure over here as well. Nice entries uh, roughly around about here. But we did take an entry back down here as soon as we start to see that rejection. But we are speaking about another potential re-entry over here. All right. And then what we spoke about, we were looking at this nice sort of resistance area coming up that the market broke. We saw a nice clean break of the area, another potential entry. And then we we're talking about the nice move to the upside. Now, currently still holding the trade. Let's look at a way how we can manage this uh, before the weekend does finish. And uh, we could potentially be looking at holding this trade over the weekend, but we need to see how we can secure some profits. All right, so moving on to the Friday time frame, we do see we have a bit of a consolidation zone coming up right over here, roughly the 151, 100 mark, big, nice psychological level for the market to stop on. And we can see it's one of the few ones that actually show up as a, as a one digit. So let's have a quick look at this now. Again, consolidation zone back up here. So we need to be aware of this current area the market is in. So with entries, down here we can now look at moving our stop losses from here to either above the zone we saw a clean break of that resistance like i mentioned and we can look to move our stop loss below that zone or even a little bit higher below this zone because now we've got to look at areas where the market is rejecting what we need to keep in mind is we have rejection rejection and another rejection over here so we need to know our stop loss has to be at least below that zone for us to play it safe now if the market does during this during the uk session or the us session break above this area and start to consolidate we know okay cool we can now look at moving our stop losses into this zone right over here okay and obviously overall targets we're looking at is at the top market hopefully can push up back down to there but we need to manage our trade with a stop loss especially if we're going to look at holding it over the weekend and uh, we need to make sure we secure our profits thanks so much for watching guys stay tuned trade safe